It was good. It was a tutorial to get Minecraft and other OpenGL programs working on virtual machines, especially in Hyper-V. As you can see, I have Minecraft running here. I'm recording, so it's a little laggy, but it works just fine. There's no window open, no Hyper-V connection. It's straight through Parsec. So I'll show you to do this. All right, so there will be a link to a program in the description of the video. It's just a program that will keep OpenGL alive. So how it works is you launch it while OpenGL is still active and it'll keep it alive, it'll keep it working. I'll show an example, here it is, I already have it running. I'm gonna exit it. So once you have it downloaded, you cannot run it through Parsec. This will not enable the OpenGL. So right now if I run it and then I try launching Minecraft, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I will still get the OpenGL error. So what you need to do is you need to disconnect from Moonlight or Parsec, and you need to connect through the Hyper-V window. And then once you're in here, now you can launch it, which is uh, very simple. You, you can just open it and it'll work. So now you can just disconnect and reconnect through Parsec or Moonlight and OpenGL will be running this entire time. The program will be running in your tray. It uses no resources, essentially. As you can see, it's using 0% of the CPU. Very little amount of the memory. It's very, very lightweight. So with all of that being said, what I recommend you do is you put the program inside of the shell startup. So you're gonna type shell startup in Windows Run. You're gonna press Windows button, plus R. It's gonna open this, and then you'll press OK once you've typed shell colon startup with no spaces. And then you just wanna drag this into here. If you're gonna be playing Minecraft often or any other OpenGL game or program that you need to have running often, this should be in here because then you won't have to launch it manually every single time. And all you have to do to activate it is just make sure when you start your virtual machine, you connect through Hyper-V. And then you can just disconnect from Hyper-V. As long as this program launches, or is open during a connection of the Hyper-V window, it'll work just fine. 